Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, we're gonna talk about music and sound control. More specifically, every single way that you can initiate background music and background sound inside your map, as well as how you can manipulate them to fit your needs. So, let's get started. Alright, so there's three main ways for you to initiate your background music and your background sounds inside RPG Maker MC. The first one is inside the map config. So if you open your map properties by clicking on the headed button, you will be brought to the menu for the map properties. Now over here you have the autoplay BGM and autoplay BGS. So if you select those and you set specify a sound or music rather, Let's go with, I don't know, Team 1, and the BGS will be yeah, Night. Now, it means that every single time that your players will step inside that map, the trend BGM and BGS are going to be replaced by those ones. It's super simple and straightforward. So, if I was to launch my game right now, I got the BGM and the BGS that starts running instantly. Now the second method and my personal favorite to initiate it is inside an event. So at the top left corner, which is my favorite spot for this time of heavens, you can create and I usually call it music manager so that I can easily identify it should I ever need to change it in a couple months or weeks or whatever. And inside the content, you have the access to the audios and videos under the second tab over here. And from there, you can select the BGM you wish to play. So I will just pick once again the theme one. And then let's go with the play BGS night as well. Of course, make sure that your trigger is on parallel. Otherwise, uh, the event is not going to launch itself, obviously. And even from there, if I deactivate the default ones on the map properties and just go inside the game, the event will take care of launching the, the music itself. And I picked the wrong BGS, did I? Yeah, I picked Wintry. I don't know how that happened, but I did apparently. Cool. All right. There we go. All right. Now, the reason why it's my personal favorite is that because when you're doing it inside an event, it allows you to implement conditions on the music itself. For instance, the BGS Night should only be played really when it's actually night inside my game. And so if my game has a personal or as like as a day and night circle, I'm not exactly sure when the character is gonna step inside that map. All I know is that if it's night and it steps inside, this is the BGS I wanna play. And so you could easily implement a condition over here that says and create a switch that like is night, which you're gonna take care of turn on and off based on whether it is night or the day inside your game. And if it is on, then I'm going to play the BGS. And if it's not, then the BGS night is not going to play, period. And so this is the one, actually the only reason why this method is my favorite by far, is because I'm having a better control on the current music actually that I want to play inside my game, rather than the map properties, which is really specific. And it's always going to be that one, no matter what happens inside the game, which I feel tend to be... A little bit boring or not well let's just say I'm, it's not perfect or does not really suit the needs that i need for my specific games but hey maybe it's good enough for you so now the third great way on how to initiate background music and background sound inside your game it's gonna be revealed as soon as you smash that like button for the youtube algorithm but seriously though the third way which i found pretty convenient to do in some of couple of my games personally was with common events now and the way that i implement this is super simple like let's say that i have the music manager common event which is gonna be a parallel and is triggered by is the game is started now it's very very basic and super simple but keep with me on this because it can get quickly complicated if you're not focused so the first thing really that the manager is going to check is what type of map are we in which is going to be the 
through a variable. So type of map, which is a variable. And let's say that if it is like a type of map, let's say one. Okay, now I know that type of map one could have a comment over here that could say like type of maps. And then one equals inside house. Two equal fire dungeon. Three equals city. Blah blah blah. Like just like this. And so you can keep track of what the numbers means. And so if the type of map is equals one, it means that we're inside a house. And when we're inside a house, I know that I want to play the BGM team one. And I also know that I want a conditional branch that if it is night, whoops, if it's night, then we're also going to play the BGS uh, night. Where is it? There we go. All right. It is that simple. And so the only thing really that you need to do is in, once again inside the parallel process at the top, which is your minute manager, the only thing you have to do really here is to specify which type of map your player is in. So let's go type of map, constant one is inside a house. And of course, for this purpose, like we're gonna also need to turn on the switch that the game is started so that a common event will start again. And so simply by doing this, technically, if I did everything right, there we go. And since we're not night right now, then the night background sound effect is not playing. But if it was, And obviously, the BGS Knight is going to start playing as well. Now, the reason why common events can be really, really great in those type of scenarios is that what happens if you have, let's say, 35 different houses inside your game and you've got like 5 cities, 7 forests, like 14 dungeons and blah, blah, blah. Are you seriously going to copy-paste that events that many times? Of course not. You don't want to do that. So all you have to do really is specify the type of map that this, this current map represent and you let the music manager inside your comments events handle it for you and it's that simple and of course you could have like a couple options that says like if um, you could have it uh, an additional let's say uh, is music override for instance is off and that means that as long and let's go else uh, and we're gonna do okay so basically that options what it could do basically is that if you turn the switch is music override to on then you're probably entering a cutscene for the specific of your games and whatnot that you don't want the default music to be playing and so you want to override it so by turning it at the value on you can basically bypass the current mechanics and um, effects that you have inside your common events to play the sound that you need for that specific scene Otherwise, you can you just have to turn it back off once you're done with it and we can keep going. But mainly what I'm trying to explain here is that the common events is going to save you a lot of time whenever you try to make modifications. And also going to prevent you to do a lot of mistakes. And also it's super simple. Once it's in place, all you have to do really is specify the type of map for each one of those, which takes, as you saw, five seconds and you're good to go. All right. Now, the last thing I want to discuss before we end this video are the save BGM and replay BGM options that you have over here inside your heaven comments now what exactly are those and what purpose do they serve well it's super simple really the save bgm is going to allow you to keep in memory a song but also at which point the song has been played inside the game and so what it allows you to do is change the bgm for instance we could say that we play the team one for five seconds then we save the current position of the team one where is it playing hat exactly then we're going to start playing the battle one for a couple of seconds. And then we're going to replay the BGM that we previously saved. And so once we read the replay, we're going to start the song back at exactly where it was when we stopped playing it. And so it can be really super interesting when you have cutscene where the music changed brusquely, abruptly or anything. Like because a surprising event appears, like a big bad evil guy shows up and suddenly the music changed. And once it goes back, then you can take back the music where you left it off.
So as you can see right over here, rather than restarting the song entirely, what it does is that it picks it up right where it was. So just pay attention once again. And that's it. Alright, so that's it for today's video on music and sound control. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave some comments, whatever, and I'll see you later for a new video. Bye! Goodbye!